Amen. Go ahead and grab your Bibles here tonight. Amen. And uh, I thank God that, that I have the opportunity and the privilege, amen, to be able to share the Word of God here tonight. Amen. And um, Pastor Francisco and Sister Sylvia, amen, they're out of town. Amen. They're separating themselves and, and getting a hold of God. Amen. And, and uh, as we get ready to go into the, or we're already here in 2020. Amen. We're not getting ready, but we're we're, we're uh, gearing up. Amen. We're gearing up for what God wants to do in 2020. And so they send their greetings. They love you. Amen. They'll be here on Sunday. Amen. They're going to be here Sunday. Pastor's going to be ministering a powerful word. Amen. So keep them in prayer. Amen. Keep our pastors in prayer as they separated themselves and amen out of town and just get in a hold of God. Amen. And so here uh, tonight, I want to fall. Amen. I want to continue to uh, to preach. Amen. I don't want to Amen. Uh, you know, preach anything out of tune. Amen. Of what Pastor Francisco's preaching on, and so I, I, I know that we're in the year of double. Amen. We're in the year of double, and and I'm not gonna get tired of saying it. Amen. amen. I'm not gonna get tired because the more you know, the Bible says this: out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Amen. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Amen. So I will continue to speak it, to prophesy it. Wow. Amen. And to proclaim it. Amen. To shout it. That it's the year of double in 2020. Amen. And God is gonna bless our church. God is gonna bless your family. God is going to bless your life. You're going to grow spiritually. You're going to grow financially. You're going to, come on somebody. How many believe that here tonight? Yeah. It's a year of double. Amen. And God has a double blessing for your life. Amen. But it's not going to just come just because we say it. Amen. It's going to come because we roll up our sleeves. Amen. Not only do we roll up our sleeves, but we, we, we kneel before God. We get on our knees and we begin to cry out to the Lord. Amen. That's why we're, that's why we're on Monday. We are going to get ready to give the devil a black eye. Amen. On Monday, we're going to get ready to separate ourselves unto the Lord. Amen. And hear from God and receive a blessing from God. Amen. So I want to stay in that same vein. Amen. And uh, pastor preached, uh, you know, that if we if we're gonna see that come to pass, then we need then we need to fall in love, amen, with God more, amen. amen. And the way you fall in love with God more, amen, is by falling in love with God's word, falling in love with prayer, falling in love with worship, amen. amen. Turn your Bibles to Psalm 51. Thank you, worship team. Amen. I could preach a whole message with you guys up here. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Psalm 51. When are you ready for God's word tonight? Amen. 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 Psalm 51. And I want to continue to, to preach. Amen. To preach about falling in love with God more. So that, amen, that is the topic, but my title is His Unfailing Love. Amen, His Unfailing Love. How many know that God's love will never fail you? Amen. amen. God's love will never fail you. Amen. Year after year, month after month, day after day, God's love will forever remain faithful to you. Amen. amen. And I want to read here in Psalm 51, in verse 1, as we all stand for the reading of God's word, Amen. In verse 1, it reads like this. It says, Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love. According to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. I'm going to read that again. Verse 1. Have mercy on me, O God. According to your unfailing love. Come on. Let's pray. Father, we come before you here tonight. Yes. Lord, I thank you for your unfailing love. Time and time again has your love proved faithful in my life and in our lives, God. Lord, your word says that there is no greater love for when a man lays down his life 
or his friend. And Jesus, you have done that. You laid your life down for us, God, yes. that we may have life and life more abundantly. Yes. God, we thank you. We love you. In Jesus' name, we all say amen. 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 Praise the Lord. You may be seated. Thank you. Amen. Tired neighbor, get ready. Amen. Because God wants to pour out. God wants to pour out his unfailing love upon you here tonight. Amen. How many thank God for, for his unfailing love? Amen. Because I don't know about you, but there's been times in my life to where I've experienced love that has failed me. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah, yeah. I've experienced heartache. <clears throat> I've experienced a broken heart. Yes, I've, yes. Ex I've experienced being let down. Yeah. I've experienced broken promises. Yeah. Yeah. I've experienced, uh, you know, times to where, you know, people have promised to love me or people have, you know, uh, you know, they started off, come on, loving, but, but at the end, hating. Come, Come on, on, somebody, right? Truth. But, you know, we might experience that in life. You, I know I'm not the only one who's experienced a broken heart. Yeah. I know I'm not the only one who's experienced, yeah, 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 come yeah, on, right. of being broken. Huh? Yeah. But I want to let you know that that is not the that is not going to come from God. Yes. I, 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 I'm here tonight to declare some good news to you. Right. Amen. That God loves you. That, right. that Jesus loves you. Yes. Amen. And not not only am I just saying that. Amen. Not only did, did Jesus come on the scene over 2,000 years ago saying that he loved you, amen, but he but he proved it. Right. I said Jesus proved yeah. his love for you and I. Right. Jesus proved it on the cross of Calvary. Jesus proved his love for you and I that it will never fail you. Oh, on, God's love won't fail you. Right. Um, and see, we have here the psalmist David at a time in his life to where he messed up. Come on, somebody. David done messed up. Amen. But how many know that David was a man after God's own heart, the Bible says. Amen. We all are going to have our seasons. We all are going to have our times in life. Amen. To where we might fall short of the glory of God. Amen. You might have that season. Come on, somebody. To where you might be struggling. Amen. And David found himself in that season yes. uh, and he sinned against God uh, he, he fell short of the glory of God but I want to let you know that you know, uh, that there was hope for David. Come on, somebody. Amen. And just like there is hope for David, there's hope for you. There's amen. hope for me. There's hope amen. for the world. Amen. There's hope amen. for Grand Prairie. There's hope, amen. amen, for your family. There is hope for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord here tonight. Amen. Uh, there is hope because that's exactly what David did. David began to cry out to God. David began to confess his sin to God. And he said, have mercy on on me, oh God, according to your unfailing love. Yes, come on. See, David knew a little bit of something. He knew a little something about God's unfailing love. Ooh, come on now. Uh, he knew that God's God was faithful. Come on, somebody. See, I believe the origin of our love for God begins the moment we receive the forgiveness of God. Amen. Amen. That's right. I said, I believe the origin of our love for God. Amen. When your love started for God, when your love, uh, you just all of a sudden just exploded and you just fell in love with God. Is anybody in love with Jesus? Amen. Are you in love with, do you remember, come on somebody, your honeymoon with Jesus? Do you remember, come on, that first time that God took you out? Amen. He took you. Come on somebody. You, you know, yeah, that girl might have stood you up. Yeah, that guy I might have stood you up, oh, but my friend God did not stand you up. Oh, oh, right. I remember the day that I gave my life to Jesus. Oh. I remember the moment. Come on, somebody. I remember the, when I cried out like David, amen, that I cried and said, God, forgive me, for I'm a wretched man. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm a sinner. Mm. I remember when I said that prayer. I remember. Oh, God, I'm a, uh, forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart. God, Lord, uh, do a miracle in my life. Yes. Get me off of these streets. Get me out of this, come on, this uh, this trap house. God, get me out of, get me out of the gangs. Get yeah. me out of, get me, uh, God, remove this, uh, God, this, uh, this hurting from my life. God, remove all this 
this heartache. Yes. Do you remember when you cried out to God? Yeah. Yeah. On the, and that day that you said that prayer, oh, and God forgave you of your sins. Yeah. It felt yeah. like a burden was lifted off of you. Yeah. It felt like, come on, like, the, yes. uh, the, like, a, like yes. a ton of freaks, come on, just lifted off of you. Right. Why? It's because God forgave you of your sin. God yes. forgave you of your trespasses. God yes. forgave you of that lifestyle. Come on, right. somebody. That separated you from God. Yeah. Wow. And God forgave you. Wow. And the moment that he forgave you, I believe that that's the moment that we <laughs> fall in love with God. Come on. Huh? Come on I understand we may never fully comprehend. Amen. We may, ne we may never fully comprehend the fullness of God's love. Right. Um, you're not. You. You. Sometimes you won't understand it. Yes. Huh? There'll be times where you know, you know, people, especially in running the 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 men's recovery home in the uh -oh. in the victory home ministry. Or come on, somebody. That, it's a it's a it's a lovely ministry. Amen. Yeah. But it's also a rough ministry. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Why? Because that's where the roughest of the rough go. Right. Amen. They go into the home. They they need they need a change. They need a, they need Everything, come on, somebody. Yeah. Uh, and it's there, that they, it's there in that home. Amen. Amen. The Bible says that uh, where, where, where sin abounds, the grace of God abounds much more. Amen. Amen. That's right. So it's in that home to where I, I remember guys, man, they would come in there and they'd be tripping, right? Yeah. Cuss me out, spit on me, all, way, yeah. all kinds of stuff, right? Uh, yeah. And then and then and then they split, then they leave the home and and they probably took you know or. Amen on some stuff with them, blankets, towels, amen, took everything with them. Man, grab some of the food, right? And, and then the next day. Oh, oh Lord. They come back now. They come back. They come back. And then, and then you got some of the guys that are, come on, they're, they are like halfway saved in the home. Don't let them in here. Tell them to get out of here kick rocks. Right? And then we open the door. Yeah, yeah. And then, woo. It's okay, brother. Grace. Forgive you. Oh, Amen. That's right. We forgive you. That's right. That's right, Mr. O'Donnell. Come on. We forgive you. Yes. Yes. Come, on now. Come in. Right? Mercy. I only thank God for mercy. Yes. I thank God for his grace. Yes. I thank God for his grace and his mercy. And when we do that, some people will look and be like, how in the world? How do you do that? Right. How do you forgive somebody that has done you dirty? How do you forgive somebody that has done you wrong? Amen. The same way that God forgave me. Because I did him dirty. Because I sinned against him. Come on, somebody. Right? And God forgave me. Time and time again, God continues to forgive us. God continues to wash away our sins. Right. Huh? I understand we may never fully comprehend the fullness of God's love. Yes. The more we come to understand God's love for us, mm. the more our love for him will grow. That's right. Huh? That's key right there. Uh, if we're going to love God more in 2020, wow. if that's your goal, come on, somebody. You want to love God more? Amen. You want to give God more? You want to serve God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your strength? You want to do something for God this year, 2020, and you want to continue to love him and love people? Then, my friend, you I believe if you're going to do that, you have to understand his love for you first. The more that you understand his love for you will cause you to love him even more. Um, the Bible reads like this. And he feed in, in uh, Romans chapter eight, in Romans chapter eight, in verse thirty-nine. I think he has it up there, right? It says, okay, this uh, Romans, right? Turn your Bible. I don't hear no Bibles turning. Right. You got you got it. Go to Romans chapter eight. Come on. There we go. Romans eight. It says in verse thirty-seven. It says, no, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Right. Verse 38, for I am convinced. Are you convinced tonight? Yes. Yes. I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God, God yes. that is in Christ Jesus Amen. our Lord. Woo. Nothing is going to stop. Amen. Right. Nothing 
Nothing's going to get in the way of God's love for you, my yes. friend. No demon in hell is going to get in the way of God's love for you. No person going to get in the way of God's love for you, my friend. Nothing high nor dead. Nothing's going to get in the way of his love for us. That's right. But what gets in the way of our love to him? Oh, I believe that. Some, come on, sometimes our love could be it could be it could be minimal at times come because on. things get in the way. Come on, break it down. But thank God for His grace and His mercy. Yes, that's why He's God and we're not. Right. Come on, somebody. I thank God because nothing's gonna get in the way. Not only that, but turn your Bibles to Ephesians, Ephesians chapter three, verse fourteen. For this reason, I kneel before the Father. For from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. Verse 16. This is Paul writing the church of Ephesus. And this is a prayer that he that he prayed. He says, I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through the spirit in your inner being. Right. So that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's, with all the Lord's holy people to grasp. How wide and how long and how high and deep is the love of Christ. Amen. And to know that this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Wow. That was Paul's prayer. Paul was praying is that, that, the, that the church in Ephesus would understand the love of God. Yes, um, come on. I believe that has to be our prayer in 2020. Yes, come on. I'll come Monday, amen, Monday on the day of our fast, the day that you begin to cry out to God, amen, not only Monday, but here tonight at the altar hey, call. Hey. My prayer is that you, would, that, that, God, that you would grow in your understanding of God's love for your life. Amen. Huh? Because he loves us. Yes. The Bible says that he gave his only begotten son. Come on, uh, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Yes, that's right. God loves us here tonight. Victory outreach. That's right. And see here, amen, as our love for God grows, so will your, amen, so will you in so many different areas. Oh, say it again, Pastor. I, I, as, as your love for God grows, so will you. Amen. In so many different areas. Yes. You'll become is. a better father. Ooh. You'll become a better mother. Oh, yes. you'll, be, you'll become a better wife. Man, you'll man. become a better a husband. Ooh. Come on, somebody. You'll become oh. a better employee at your job. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? Uh, maybe God's waiting for that. Amen. So he can give you the raise. Hello, wow. somebody. Yeah, huh? come but, on. Uh, you'll, you'll become a better prayer warrior. Yeah. You'll become yeah. a better, come on, so you'll become be a better person. Yeah. How many want to be better in 2020? Yeah. Huh? How many are tired of being bitter and now you want to be better? Yeah. Huh? I believe that as our love for God grows, then we'll be better in so many different areas. Yes. Uh, amen. See, we serve God. We serve God. We worship God. Yeah. In Victory Hours Grand Prairie. Amen. We serve God. We worship God. Amen. We evangelize our city. We do dramas. We do rallies. We give away. We give our money. We disciple people. We have good church attendance. Yes. We give. We give to kingdom builders. We plant churches. We launch out churches. We have life groups. We we, we go to the UTC. We answer the call of God upon our life. Uh, yeah, Amen. Yeah. We're united. We can members. We, yes. we, we 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 change. Come on, somebody. How many changing in 2020? Amen. We have victory homes we lose come on we, we do all these things because of our love for God yes. oh, that's, that's why we do these yeah, things right. on. on that and it doesn't end there come on then we sacrifice yes. then we lose sleep amen we have oh. sleepless nights come on yes. why because yes. we're in the streets or or because we're up late at night praying getting a hold of God amen we give until it hurts we we put up with people who hurt us Yes, come on now. Right. Yeah, we yeah, yeah. We forgive yeah. them. We love them. Yes, right. We sacrifice. Thank you, Jesus. Why? Right? Year after year, month after month, day after day, we do it. We do what we do because we love God. Amen. Amen. Yeah, that's right. Some people look at our ministry and they're saying, man, they're too radical. Come on. <laughs> oh, man, they're too, they're way too radical. Yeah, yeah. 
Are you, is anybody radical here for Jesus? Yeah. Yeah. I, I love my ministry. I, I was, I was, I was, a, I was discipled by some radical pastors. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, That they left, amen. They left their home church. Uh, they left that place where they were at for many, many years. They've invested in, they gave to, yes. they poured their time, their strength, their talent, their heart out into that home, into Victory Outreach Dallas. And then all of a sudden, the call of God came. Yeah. Amen. amen. To go to Hardington. Amen. They had their family there in Dallas. They had it. Amen. They had it going on over there. Yes. Yes. And then they gave it up. Amen. To come to Ardington. Right. Yes. Uh, where, the, where there, amen, was a, a, a backslider. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. one, a, a young man that was running from God. I was on the run. Come on, somebody. Whoa. And it wasn't from the PD. Yeah. Come on, I was on the run, but I was on the run from God. Come on. Come on. I was running from my calling. I was running from my destiny. Yeah, yeah. Could you imagine? Come mm -hmm. on. Uh, if God didn't send the well, amen. If he didn't send Victory well, Outreach well, Grand amen. Perry, come amen, on, to on. swallow me up. Right. Come right. On. right. I thought I came to Texas just to visit. Mm. Huh? Yeah, I, yeah, I really did. I, well, to visit and to run from God, amen. <laughs> I, I went through the men's home there in California. I, I man, I did 16 months in that home. I had, yeah. amen, my family out there, and everything was good, mm. amen. And then I ran over here to Texas wow. to try to get away. Wow, wow. Um, but I thank God because Victory Outreach, uh, Pastor Francisco, Sister Sylvia, they were there. Right, amen. Amen. Uh, they were there. Yes, yes. Amen. They were radical. They left. They answered the call to plant a church in Arlington. Mm. Um, I thank God. Amen. And and they discipled me radically. Amen. Wow. Right. They didn't waste no time. Uh, they said, hey, uh, I wasn't even there for th three months going to the church. And then all of a sudden, pastor asks me, hey, brother, you want to move in with me? Uh, or no, he didn't say that. He said, hey, he goes, I want you to run a, a second phase home. Mm. And because at that time I was working, I was just coming to church, I wasn't a mental director, I wasn't none of that. I was just, you know, being faithful, coming to church, amen, like you guys. Right. Oh, somebody, amen. And then all of a sudden he goes, can you, you want to run a home? I said, uh, a second phase. I said, sure. He goes, okay, but I want you to move in with me so I can disciple you. Uh. I said, oh, <laughs> catch 22, amen. <laughs> And so I said, okay. And I said, praise God, I'll move in with you. So I moved in with him. And and, and uh, if you know my testimony, you know that I came to be uh, about a year before that. Amen. I came, I, I went to the, through Pastor Francisco's men's home and I stayed for one day and I split. <laughs> I, I was gone. Like okay. flash. Amen. And about a year later, then that's when they found me. Amen. Wow. They found me. But anyways, oh, the reason why I left is because he was, he, Pastor Francisco, was directing the men's home. Oh, wow. He was directing the home. He was pastoring the church. They were, they were wearing all the hats. Come on, somebody yeah, in yeah. ministry. Yeah. yeah. Huh? And, and the reason why I left is because I felt that I thought he was going to make me run the men's home. <laughs> I was like, he's going to find out that I graduated the home and he's going to, and, and he's going to make me the director. Yeah. And so when I moved in with him, when he asked me to move in with him, amen, praise God, he was running the home, but that's when we got the other house, amen, we moved out of the, we moved out of the men's home, but about eight months later, that's when God put it on my heart to run the men's home, amen. I said, God put it on my heart. I gave up my freedom. Yeah. Where's Jose at? Huh? Yeah. Right. Gave him, right? Gave yeah, it up. And, cause why? Because we got we got to be in the home That's right. That's right. with the men and the women. Right. Every yeah. day, sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah. But I do it. I answer the call because I love God. Yeah. I answer yeah. the call because God has done something in my life. Yeah. Yeah. And so I believe so many of us here tonight that that, that call is going to come. Amen. And because God has been good to you. Wow. Amen. Because God has been graceful to you. That's because right. God has forgiven you. Yes. Amen. Because God has given you so many chances. Amen. That it's going to be heavy on your heart. And you're going to say, God, you know, God, I, I, I'm going to do anything that you ask me to do. Yes. I'm yes. going to do anything that you want me to do. I surrender. I'm tired of running. I'm going to stay right here. I'm going to I'm gonna face my giants and I'm going to answer the call of God. Yes. yes. It's good. 2020. It's going to be your year. Tell your neighbor 2020 is going to be your year. The Bible says 
Amen. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, it says, No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. Amen. Amen. That's a promise. That's a promise. You love God more. God is God has something prepared for you. God has something good for you. Right. God has a call, a purpose for your life. Yeah. You all you gotta do is continue to grow in your love for Him. Yes, that's continue right. Continue to grow in your love for God. Yes, um, there it is. See, in 2019, hey, you know, maybe some of us here, maybe you, maybe you haven't experienced that love. Uh, that, that love like an ocean. Come on, some, somebody. On uh, the peace like a mountain. On uh, uh, the joy like a river. Uh, have you felt that before? Uh, have you found God's love just like an ocean just, you know, come upon your life? The peace of, how many of you experience a peace of God that surpasses all understanding? Amen. Even though trials are taking place, tribulation is happening. Amen. Things are happening. You're being hit by the enemy. Because you got the peace of God in your life. Maybe some of you, you haven't experienced that. But I believe that God, amen, has that for you this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God has that for you. Amen. He has it. God wants to. Amen. God, you're going to experience that honeymoon. Come on, somebody. Oh, come on. I'm yeah. thank God the married couple. Somebody thank God for the honeymoon. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> come on. I think, come on. Love like an ocean. Yeah. Uh -huh. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Right? Singles, keep praying. Amen. Hello. I was there. Uh, I was there amen. praying like you. Amen. Uh, not only was I praying, but I was fasting. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 21 day Daniel is coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You're in the men's home, just <laughs> go like that. Some of your ears, you pray after you graduate the home, amen. <laughs> huh? I believe that God has that for you, amen. Yeah. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has imagined. You can't even imagine what God has for you in 2020. Come on, say that. Like you can't even imagine yeah. the blessing, the Woo. double portion upon your life, yes. and then that God has the growth in your ministry, amen, the growth in your spiritual life, amen, the growth that God has for you, the blessings, yeah, yeah, yeah. the breakthroughs yes. that God has for you in 2020, mm. you can't imagine it, but God has it prepared for you, Ooh, I said God, God is preparing it for yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Huh? he's preparing it, yes, I can see huh? Maybe, and maybe you, maybe there are some here. Maybe you've already you've already experienced that love of God. You've experienced it. Amen. Maybe you're a veteran. Come on, in the things of God, oh, you've been here two, three, four, five years. You're a seasoned man of God, walking with the Lord for come on, 15, 20 years. Come on, uh, you've been around the block. Amen. You've been here and you're barely hanging on. Wow. Uh, come on. Uh, come on. See, maybe. You know, in this journey with God, sometimes we fall into pits. Wow. Uh, sometimes we fall into pits, yes. like Psalm 40. In, in Psalm 40, uh, King or David, he, that's what he did. Amen. And he prayed this. Is it, is it there? Psalm 40? Amen. He, in verse 1, I waited patiently for the Lord. He yeah, turned yeah. to me and heard my cry. Wow. Verse 2, he lifted me out of the slimy pit, wow. out of the mud. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place. Huh? He gave me a firm place to stand for you, for, for, for that seasoned Christian, that man of God, that woman of God. You've been in the you've been in the thick of the war. Come on, you've been in the thick of the battle. Amen. And you've taken a couple of hits by the enemy. And you feel, come on, that you're down on your you're down and out. Yes. Uh, maybe you're not you, you you're not experiencing the peace of God. You're not experiencing the breakthroughs, and, and you're waiting, and you're getting weary. You might be tired. Well, here, I'm here to let you know that God is going to pull you out of the pit. Right. Yes. Uh, that He's going that His hand is there waiting for you. Uh, all you got to do is reach up and grab Amen. it. All you got to do is uh, kneel on your knees and cry out to Him, like David. Huh? I want you to turn your Bibles. Amen. I want you to turn your Bible to Luke chapter 7. And I want to give you three points that will help us, amen, to love God more in 2020. How many want to love God more? Yes. 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 So, sometimes our love just needs a react. Uh, sometimes our love for God, 
Amen. It just it just needs a. Uh, it's like one of those uh, things where someone somebody that's right, they're like sick or they're like dying, and then they they grab the little things right like this. They give you a jump start. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh? What is that thing called? Yeah, that right there. <laughs> Sometimes we just need that, and you know you know what that shock is. What is it, Pastor? Huh? It's gonna be the prayer and fasting. Oh, come on now. It's, be, it's when you it's when you cover your mouth, huh? And and you don't eat. Come on, somebody, right? And you fast. You you fast. Amen. You you cut off the energy drinks. Come on, somebody. You cut off all them cokes. You cut off all. Them. You deny the flesh. You kill the flesh. Come on, too too many fajitas, too many uh, bondigas, tamales, all that good stuff, right? And it's been distracting you from God. Huh? Maybe, yeah, maybe you come to church, amen, but maybe you don't go to prayer as much as you used to. Uh, maybe you don't, maybe you, you don't, right? Maybe you're slowing down a little bit. God wants to reamp you. Okay. In Luke, Luke 7, Luke chapter 7, if you're there, say amen. amen. Luke 7, 20, or 36. How many are you getting something? Amen. Amen. Yes, good. Luke 7, chapter 7, verse 36, and it reads like this. It says, When one of the Pharisees invited Jesus to have dinner with him, he went to the Pharisee's house and reclined at the table. See, even Jesus eats with the Pharisees. Oh, wow. Um, verse 37. A woman in that town who lived a sinful life. Wow. <clears throat> How many could relate to her? Amen. Come on now. I said a woman in that town who yeah. lived a sinful life uh, come on. <clears throat> learned that Jesus was eating at the Pharisee's house. Mm. So she came there with an alabaster jar of, of wow. perfume. As she, as she stood behind him at his feet weeping, oh, she yes. began to wet his feet with her tears. Right. Then she wiped them with her hair kissed them and poured perfume on them. Wow. When the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, if this man were a prophet, little did he know, wow. if this Hello. man were a prophet, he would know who is touching him and what, what kind of woman she is. Oh, come on. That she is a sinner. Wow. Jesus answered him, Simon, I have something to tell you. He called him out. Tell me, teacher, he said, in verse 41, two people owed money to a certain money lender. One owed him 500 denarii and the other 50. Neither of them had the money to pay him back. Mm, come on. So he forgave their debts of both. Wow. Now, which of them will love him more? Wow. He asked Simon this question. And Simon responded in verse 43. Simon replied, I, suppo I suppose the one who had the bigger debt forgiven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. How many had some debt forgiven? Amen. 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 That's right. He says, you, you have judged correctly, Jesus said. Yeah. Then he turned toward the woman and said to Simon, do you see this woman? I came into your house. You did not give me any water for my feet. But she wet my feet with her tears and wow, wiped them with on. her hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did not give me a kiss, but this woman from the time I entered has not stopped kissing my feet. Wow. You did not put oil on my head, but she has poured perfume on my feet. Wow. Therefore, I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven. Wow. As her great love has shown. But whoever has been forgiven little loves little. Wow. Wow. Then Jesus said to her, your sins are forgiven. Uh. The other guests began to say among themselves, who is this who even forgives sins? Wow. Come on, Jesus Pastor. said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Mm. Come on, Pastor. He that <coughs> been forgiven much, loveth much. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I know where I'm at. Come on, somebody. Come on. Yeah. 630 right. West Main Street. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Victory Outreach. Yes. Yes. Treasures out of darkness. Yes. Come on. Imperfect people. Yes. Far from perfect. Come on, somebody. Right. Uh, uh, 
a sinful people, yes. a people that were out there lost and bound, a people that were out there gangbanging, a people that were out there getting high, getting loaded. Maybe you weren't getting high and getting loaded. Maybe you were just on the dance floor dropping it like it was hot. Oh, yeah. Come on. Not only on Friday and Saturday, but you were there on Wednesday. Come on. You were, come on. You were there every day the door was open. You were there. A sinful lifestyle. I believe we can relate to that, my friend. I believe here in Victory Outreach that we have been forgiven much. I know we are a people that God had mercy upon us. That God, thank God for his grace. Huh? Right. And he pulled us out. Yes. Just like this the woman right here. I, I believe that there's a few things that we can, I want to pull three things out of here that we can get from from this lady right here. The first one, the first one in verse 37. Amen. In verse 37, a woman in that town who lived a sinful life. Mm -hmm. uh, a sinful life. See, you know, even if you didn't live a crazy, radical, sinful life, amen, you're still a sinner. Wow. Uh -huh. Come on. You're God. still a sinner. The Bible says that that, that, that uh, all, you know, the time we were children, that we were little babies. Come on, that we were sinners. Wow. You don't believe me here? I'll, I'll turn there and show you. In <laughs> Psalm 51, back to Psalm 51, yeah. it reads like this. Uh, and we'll start in verse, in verse 4. It says, Against you, you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. So you are right in your verdict and justify when you judge. Ooh. Verse 5, Surely... I was sinful at birth. Wow. Sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Wow, wow there wow. it is. Huh? Sinners. We were sinners. Thank, thank, thanks to Adam and Eve. Come on, somebody. <laughs> right? We inherited the sinful nature. Yeah. And that's the thing. I, I believe here that we can't forget. That's the number one point right there. Don't forget. Yes. Don't forget that we were... that. That we were, that we, that we were, and we still are. Come on, somebody. Yeah. That we're, the Bible says that we're sinners saved by grace. Yeah. Yes. Um, that we're sinners saved by grace, and I believe sometimes we can forget. Uh, we can forget, yep. and that's the thing is we must not forget where God found us, yes. where He found us, and where and how and how He forgave us. Mm. That's right. Come on. Thank you. If you're gonna love God more, in, in Deuteronomy. In Deuteronomy chapter 6, amen, I'll turn there, you can just write it down. Deuteronomy chapter 6, in verse 12, it reads like this. It says, be careful that you do not forget the Lord wow. who brought you out of Egypt, Ooh. out of the land of slavery. There it is. We were slaves is. to sin. Yes. Right. And we cannot forget that, that God brought us out of Egypt, my yes, friend. Yes. That, because as soon as we forget that we were that we were a sinful people, and let me remind you what Romans 3.23 says. It's, uh, Romans 3.23 <laughs> says that the wages of sin is death. Yes, that's right. The wages of sin, and because we are a sinful people, we deserve death. And not just a, not just a, a physical death, but an eternal death. Huh? An eternal death, but we we were sinners headed to a place that wasn't created for us. That's right. It was created for the devil. That's right. Created right. for all them demons, right? Hell. Hell. Yes. But thank God that He saved us. Thank God that He rescued us. Right. Thank God, my friend, here in 2020, you can't forget where I found you. You can't forget, my friend. That's good, Pastor. Don't forget. In verse 38, another another the, my second point. Is this is that we must in verse 38 we we see uh, back in Luke amen in Luke chapter 7 in verse 38 it says as she stood behind him at his feet weeping she began to wet his feet with her tears then she wiped them with her hair and kissed them and poured perfume on them she was broken she was broken. This lady was broken. Mm. Uh, she was weeping. The Bible says that she, she wasn't crying. She was weeping. 
Huh? She was broken before Jesus. She was at, at the feet of Jesus crying out. Yes. That she was broken. Yes. And I believe here in 2020 yes. that if you're gonna continue, if you're gonna grow in your love yes. for God, oh, amen, then you need to stay at the feet of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Amen. And, and it takes a humble person to get to the feet of Jesus. Because in order to get to the feet of anybody, amen, you have to, amen, you have to learn how to get low. You have to learn how to get on your knees and, and begin to cry out. Amen. You have to humble yourself. Yes. See, and when we pray, when we ask God for help, and when we seek the face of God, we're humbling ourselves. Yes. Jesus might not be here in the physical for you to get down and kiss his feet. Yeah. Amen. But I guarantee you this, that, 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 that when you come to this altar and you get on your knees and you lift your hands or you bow before him, it is the same thing. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Don't believe yourself. We got to stay broken. Yes. yes. And sometimes, you know, that's one thing I'm afraid of, amen, is a person uh, that that can that will not break in the presence of an almighty God. Yes, wow. yes, wow. it's true. In the presence of an almighty creator, um, that, that, that it's, it's hard for them. And you, can't, you cannot be in the midst of God's presence and, and not be broken. That's right. Huh? But I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen men uh, that they they fail to worship God. Mm. They fail to lift their hands to God. Yes. They fail to cry. Amen. I don't know if it's the pride. I don't know what it is, but they won't. They won't. It, it just you know we gotta stay broken. Amen. And we gotta Amen. stay at the feet of Jesus. That's right. And Amen. and sometimes we, you know sometimes we can get you know we can lose that. We can lose that to where we don't get broke. We, we don't break God's presence. That's now, I'm not saying every day, amen, every service you need to be here and crying all the time. No, <laughs> you know, but, man, there's got to be times where you break, even even if it's at home. Yeah. Even if it's not here, if it's in your prayer yeah, that's closet, right, that's right. right there, you get on your knees and you, 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 you right. humble yourself yeah. before God and you yeah. break in the presence of God. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Uh, Man, I rem I remember. There's still times I'll be at work. Yeah. I I'm telling you, I'll be at work, and you know, I'm walking, and these are a bunch of there's like 40, 50 mechanics here. Come on, somebody. And if you know anything about being in a mechanic shop, those are some of the right the the, yeah. the guys. Come on, that you find in a mechanic shop. Amen. <laughs> right. You know, some of the most prideful guys. Amen. Some of the right. But anyways, I'll be there and I'll be worshiping God. I'll be praying. I saw a thought will come to my head about how good God has been yes. to me in my life. And then all, or I'll just be looking at some of the guys and I'll be like, man, they're lost. I'll be looking at the, at the lost people that don't know Jesus. That if something were to happen to them, yes. that if they know where they're going, yes. and then I would begin. I'll begin to cry. Right. We, our tears. I'm like, oh man. I Right. Yeah. I don't want to see them. I don't want them to see me crying. Come on, somebody. Right. But literally, I'll be. I just be broken. Yes. Right? yes. Because we're sen yes. You gotta be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Um, and if you're a, if you're a person that maybe your heart has hardened, Ooh, yes. Amen. You know, because sometimes that happens. Sin yes. will do that to you, or a lack of come on, uh, of being in God's presence, a lack of prayer, a lack of anything will do that to you. And I believe if you want to tender up that heart again, then you gotta. Fast. Right, wow, there it is. I'm looking forward to this fast. Amen, amen. amen. Yeah. That's right. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to jump in. Come on, somebody. I'm going to dive in that thing. Uh -oh. I'm going to dive in there. Right? Do, do, do some absolute fasting. Uh, Daniel fast is great, but uh, if you're really desperate, uh, then cut off the food all the way. Yeah. Right? That's right? And then jump back on the Daniel. Amen? Right? Right? <laughs> But we're ra are you radical in here? Are you radical here tonight? Yeah. Victory yeah. 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 Are you willing to get in God's presence? Yeah. And the last yeah. thing yeah. is this. The third point is this. Is that we see in verse 45. In verse 45 right here. It says, You did not give me a kiss, but this woman from the time I entered has not stopped kissing my feet. You did not put oil on my head, but she poured out perfume on my feet. Uh, she, you know what she was doing? She was, she was getting radical in her worship. Yeah, amen. She was getting radical. Uh, is there anybody that you're, you're just, 
Man, you don't care when anybody's looking at you. Man, come on. You just raise your hand. Man, come on. You be at the altar broken. Man, that's right. You're just in the presence of God. Huh? Or radical. You're radical. When it comes to your worship with God, when it comes to your worship, there's no limits. Right, right. Amen. And you got to remember, not just lifting your hands is not worship. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Just lifting your hands is not worship. Singing a song is, is not just worship. Worship is in, in all shapes and sizes. Come on, somebody. Yeah, come on. Right? Yeah. Worship. Amen. The Bible says, turn your Bibles to uh, Romans, amen, <laughs> chapter 12. Romans chapter 12, uh, it reads like this. 12 verse 1 says, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, right. holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Yes. Huh? The Bible reads in Colossians 3.23, says, Everything that you do, you do it unto God. Right, amen. Everything. Uh, you're at work and you're working and, and you, you work, amen, not because for a paycheck, but you work because you, you know, because God gave you the ability to work first and foremost. Right, uh, he gave you that gift. He gave you that talent. He gave you that skill. He gave you that ability. Um, so you want to use it for the honor and glory of God. Amen. Everything that you do, you do it to glorify God. If you can rap, you rap to glorify God. Amen. Amen. If you can just come on, type on, a, on, on your a keyboard, you do it to, for the glory of God. Amen. Right. Huh? Come on. Do it for the glory of God. Radical worship. Yes. Uh, even when it comes down, now, now for me, I, I'll speak for myself. Amen. Uh, you know, when it can, because our giving is even, amen. It's worship unto the Lord. Right. Uh, right. Our giving is worship to That's God. Right. So, man, I'm the type of person that I want to get radical. Come on, somebody. Right. I want to challenge right. myself. I want to outdo myself. Yeah. Amen. Why? Because God has outdone Himself right. for me. Yeah. So I want to, man. God, if I can give you anything, I want to yeah, yeah, give yeah. you. That's right. That's why I'm a, I'm giving 15% right now. Oh, yeah. I, don't, I don't say that to boast. I say that because I love God. Right. And, I, and I understand and I know that everything that I do, I do it unto God. I'm a kingdom builder because yeah. I love God. Amen. I give my, I'm giving 15% because I love God. I'm getting ready to take a city because I love God. Yeah. I'm getting ready. Come on, just. Whatever I do, it's for the Lord. That's right. That's and I want to, and I want to, and I'm just radical. Come on, somebody. Right? Yeah. I want to, I want to do things that, that was always my model. I want to do the things that, that other people are not willing to do. Wow. Yeah. Come on now. That's what sets others apart. That's yes. what sets you apart. Yes. If you're, if you're doing the things that others are not willing to do. Right. Um, I'm going to call up the worship team. Amen. Here tonight, I believe that God wants to continue to grow us. Amen. He wants to grow us. And, and as we do this, as we continue to grow our love for God, as you understand God's love for you, amen, then your love for God will grow. How many want your love for God to grow? Amen. 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 And here, and that, it's going to take, it's going to take for us to love God more in 2020 if we're going to see what he has for us to come to pass. Amen. How many, honestly, you're believing for something? I don't know what it is. I don't know, you know, I don't know what your desires are. The Bible says that God will give you the desires of your heart. Ooh, there it is. Yes, exactly. huh? Thank you. Are you even desiring anything? Wow, there it is right there. Are you desiring anything? Mm. And is that desire, is it, does it, does it match the power of God? You ain't hear me. Amen. I said, if you are, because sometimes we could desire something that is so, so small. It might be, and, and, you know, to you it might be big. And you're desiring this thing and it's, and it's big. But it, to you it's big, but to God it's something small. He can do it. Yes. He can do it like that. But snap. Oh, right? He can do it. You want to see your, your, your loved one safe? He can do it. Yes. It might be big to you. But to God, God can do it. He's just waiting for us. Yes. It's, it's prepared. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has imagined. 
the things what God wants to do for you. The Bible says, delight yourself in, in the Lord and he will give you, he will give you the desires of your heart. I pray that God will give you a desire. Maybe it's some of you, maybe it's to be that man of God. Amen. You want to be that man of God. You want to be the man of the cloth. You want to be a man. Uh, you want to be that preacher. You want to be that pastor. You want to be that minister. Maybe you want to be that worship leader. Maybe you want to be that Bible study leader. I don't know what it is. Maybe you want to be a home director. Maybe you just want to, maybe you just, come on, you just want to, amen, you know, live right. Come on, somebody. Amen. That's a desire to you, but maybe you struggle and, and God knows that your desire is to want to live right. Yes. And God can do that for you. I, I don't know. I, I know what my desires are. I write them down. Yes. I write those desires down. Right. I'll write the vision down. Right. Make it plain on tablets. Yes. That the herald may run with it. Vision. <coughs> uh, man, so far, God, I, I remember when I first came in. I came in the doors of Park Road, 2306 East Park Road, yeah, broken, lost, young man, man, devastated. I thought I lost it all. Come on, somebody, right? Amen. Um, but then all of a sudden, God forgave me of all my mistakes. Amen. He forgave me. I said, oh, okay, that's one burden lifted. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I was able to start to dream again. Yeah. I said, God, man, he forgave me for... First, he forgave me the first time. Come on, somebody. When I first got saved and I first went into the home. But then I left him. Huh? I, I didn't just leave him, but I ran from him. Like Jonah. I ran. Amen. Huh? And then he and then he I turned my back on him. And then he forgave me for that. Amen. I said, oh man, God, you're really good. Amen. Right? Amen. I ain't got no choice now but Amen. to lay down my life. Amen. I could have. I could have died in my sin. Amen. Right. I could have died a backslider. Yes. But he forgave me. He had mercy on me. Yes. Right. I said, God, I, I owe you my life. My yes. life is indebted to you. Right. And then I began to start to dream again. Uh, yeah. And then, right, my desires were no longer worldly desires. But whenever you're caught up in the presence of God, God will start to give you... <laughs> The desires of his heart. Yeah. The desires of his heart will become your desires. Yes, that's right. That's right. And then you'll be you'll want to fulfill the, the plan of God upon your life. Huh? I didn't want to be a pastor. I didn't want to be, I mean, before, right? Before. I didn't grow up saying I wanted to be a pastor. I wanted to be this. I wanted to take a city. And I that wasn't my plans. Oh, but when I fell in love with God. Man. I said, when I fell in love with yeah. God, He started to give me His desires. Yes. I want you to stand with me here tonight. <laughs>